Hey everyone, it's John from Show Me Pickers, and today we are in the basement, and we are going to be pulling some orders. I have like 11 items that need to be packaged and shipped, and we're going to jump right into that right now. So let's uh, look at the phone, and we're going to see what the first item that needs to be pulled. It looks like we're going to be pulling a Kodak, a pack of Kodak film, so we're going to go grab that real quick, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so here's the Kodak film. It's over $9 shipped. Not too bad. I'll take it. Uh, it's real easy to ship and it will go first class mail so that won't be too bad the uh, next item that we sold is a set of ornate uh, swing arm drapery rods and they look like they're the twisted white ones that'll be right over here so we'll just walk over here and grab them real quick I still have quite a few pairs of these listed um, here they are right here Ooh. making a mess these are them, and uh, they are not heavy at all. They're really super light. Very decorative, though. Um, I did get a neutral feedback because the guy said that he did not know that the swing arms did not come with the mounting hardware. Well, I didn't put in the listing that, that it did come with that. So, oh well. This is $14.95 and $7.54 shipped, so that's not too bad. These have more than been paid for. Right now, I'm just purely moving around on profit with these. A person bought uh, two of these sharp toner cartridges. So we're going to go grab them and pull them from the shelf real quick. And I will be right back. Okay, folks, I've been running laps trying to find them. And they are right here. I bought them for, I believe they were like two bucks a piece. So that wasn't too bad. I paid $2 a piece for them. Sounds like Megan's here. Um, I got them for 2 bucks a piece. Not too bad. Um, we sold them for right at $38.95 shipped. So that's pretty good. Pretty good deal. They'll be, they're pretty light, so that won't be too bad. How you doing there, Francis? Fine. Uh, we have a vintage Honda key here to pull. And that'll be right up here. That is the last Honda key that we actually have. Um, I bought those. And a lot of keys and stuff, which worked out pretty well. Um, keys really can sell good money. I bought them in a bucket at an auction. And it's in here somewhere. I know it is. I just got the other one the other day. Yeah, I did. That's not at the VW pin. These... You look, I'm going to go put these in a different tote. How about this tote right here? Looks good to me because they're big and this is a tote for small stuff. So it makes it a little bit difficult to find. There it is right there. Uh, that is the little Honda key that we sold. Um, and it sold for like $5.98 shipped. Uh, by the time it's all said and done with, I've probably made about $8, $9 on all those keys. Uh, actually, they paid $2.99 shipping and hailing, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten, ten dollars So I've sold three of those keys for ten bucks a piece, so that's a pretty good buy. That's a pretty good sell, I mean. <laughs> a pretty good buy sell. Uh, you already pulled the Samsung TV base at home, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, we had a Samsung TV base that we sold for $26.95 and $15.12 shipping and handling. Not a bad deal. Um, TV bases, you can find them at thrift stores quite a bit and yard sales and stuff like that. They're like car parts. Pick them up because somebody's always going to need them. And it looks like that we have a Catholic missile here. Um, and I'm going to go pull that and I'll be right back. Okay, and here is the uh, missile prayer book. It's really cool. It's like got a, like a little bound leather case on it. It's super cool. It's really old. Uh, it's got some binding issues. But um, I think it's from... It was like 1920s, I believe. Yeah, we're going to go with 1920s on that because I am not going to try to pull that thing apart and damage it or risk damaging it. And uh, it sold for $12.95 and the buyer paid $3.33 shipping. The next item that we have, though, is a set of 15 pickle forks. That's so weird because you just said yesterday that you were going to keep, uh, you wanted to keep a set of pickle forks for pickles. I said they wouldn't be bad to have. Yeah, they wouldn't be bad to have. <laughs> And uh, the universe said, "No, Megan, you don't get to keep pickle well, I forks." I need fifteen of them anyway. I know, but that's not a, that's that's more than one, or that's one. That's not fifteen. So we're gonna find them, and we'll be right back. Here we go. Here is the lot of pickle forks. Um, a couple of them came out of my little zip tie thing there. 
Um, they sell pretty good. Um, we sold them for $9.95 plus $5.40 shipping and handling. Not getting rich, but we can buy a jar of pickles with that. Okay, Francis, so we have a set of weights that we got to get, but those are upstairs. We sold a set of the eight pound neoprene weights for $35.05. Um, and then we sold a motorsport Indian Yamaha Honda Hot Shop Big St. Charles yeah. shirt. Do you know where that's at? Because yeah. it's clothing. Yeah. Okay, that's we'll grab that and we'll be right back. Okie dokie, here is a, the shirt. The shirt that I was talking about. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't remember what it's sold for, but it's got all of the different uh, types of motorcycle. Sea-Doo, Can-Am, Spider, Suzuki, all kinds of different ones. Uh, it's sold for $17.95 and free shipping. And I think the last item that we have to pull is a GMC uh, Silverado brake control cable. That's eleven eighty five. So let's find that. We'll find that. Megan, she'll find that because that's what she does. She's the finder of car parts. I think that's it. Yep. That is it. See how quick she is. There we go. And that's everything. So we got all of this stuff. And uh, the shipping department. That's your job. Yeah, I know. I bet you guys thought I was done, but I'm never done. I'm never done buying. I came to Walmart and I decided to do some check-in in the clearance aisle and I found retail arbitrage. I bought some more weights and I got a light for the outside of the store, for the back side, for the out back of my store. I ended up getting these. These were originally $29.88 and the 13 inch Altura. They were uh, originally 30 bucks. I picked them up for seven bucks a piece. And then there were some of the other ones here. There was like the twin. There's a 13 inch. It's a little bit different. It was originally $34. I ended up getting it for nine. So um, I got all these. And here is what I was looking for. Remember earlier in the video, I said I was looking for canning stuff. Well, guess what? I hit the jackpot. Came into my Walmart and I will sell these like six. And then there'll be another two, four, five, six and then three and they'll sell for about $65 for six of them. Um, I paid $3 a piece for them. So that's six, 12, 130 plus another 30, $150 here for the original investment. You do the math, $3 times however many, six, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there you go. That's not too bad. Um, and this will be the end of the video. This is everything that I got. Got some more 20 pound weights. My male lady is gonna love me. Uh, she got mad and told her boss that she couldn't pick up mail from me because the stuff was too heavy. Sorry, mail lady. You're supposed to be able to pick up the 70 pounds. Sorry.